this is another video uh, where I am experimenting with the countdown timer. So uh, in this video, I will show you how to perform a mass update of the records uh, in a collection. Sometimes we need to change the single parameter of a record for all records and do it manually. Uh, it's uh, very time consuming. So uh, in my previous video, I used the collection of activities. I was creating an activity. So let's work with the activities as well. So what I, I would like to do, uh, there is an activities collection here and the name field is empty because it was not used and it was not created with a, with a name. So I'd like to uh, update the name for all the activities with some arbitrary text which I enter into the input field. So let me put an input field uh, here. Let's call it activity name. Uh, and also let's put the button to execute and to see the result before and after. Uh, there is a list of activities. I have already put it on the uh, this screen, so it's going to be filtered by all activities. And here we will have name, current activity name, and minutes. We'll display current activity minutes. So, and that changed the name on the button to update. Uh, and then let's set up the execution screen. So on this mass update execution screen, we also will need a list of activities. Uh, it will be also a custom list. Actually, we don't need any uh, information in this list, uh, so we even will not put title or subtitle here, there. So uh, the only thing which we need to add to this list is the countdown timer. So let's add it. It's here. Uh, let's put it to three seconds. We need just seconds. Uh, the timer is too big, so let's make it smaller. And then what's most important, we need to attach the action to this timer. So first let's link the uh, button to the mass update execution screen. Action link to... And then let's attach an action to this timer. So when timer finishes, we are adding the action of updating current activity and setting the name to uh, form input all screen activity name. And let's even add the email, for example, uh, or user email. And we are not changing anything else, so that's fine. And also we could add the additional timer to return back uh, to the mass update example screen automatically, uh, or we can do it manually. That's um, up to you. Uh, I prefer to do it automatically, so I'm adding another countdown timer here. Uh, I'm putting more seconds than in the original timer because we need to allow this uh, list to be out updated. So it's only seconds. Let's make it uh, smaller. And uh, action on finishing the timer, we are going back. Okay. So it seems that everything is ready. It's not very nice looking, but uh, okay. Maybe I just for the reference, I will put maybe the current activity minutes here, for example. 
let's have a look how it works. So mass update example. Okay, we have a list of activities. Uh, some have zero minutes, some have 10 minutes. Let's add some name, for example, test name. And press update. You see that upon ending the timer, the name of all activities has been updated to test name here dash email. So of course you can do much more sophisticated things. You can take more information from the exact activities and update the data based on it. But as you see with countdown timer, you can do pretty interesting things uh, with the records in the collection, which require a uh, mass operation or bulk operation. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it and uh, enjoy uh, more videos later. Subscribe to my channel. See you soon.